Before I show you how to easily install XRDP and use it, I thought I'd first show you the result. So, on screen you can see my main Windows 10 PC, and the insert on the right hand side is the screen from my Ubuntu Linux PC, which I have had to move into the garage. However, I still want to use it, even though it's difficult to get to. So, I installed XRDP on it. Now anytime I want to use it, I just start the remote desktop connection software that comes on all Windows PCs, if your main PC is Linux you can use tools like Remina to do the same thing. Type in its IP address, which I'll show you how to get, and press connect. At the XRDP login screen, I simply use my Linux username and password to log in. The result is that I can work on either my Windows PC, or my Ubuntu PC. So, after the following introduction, I'll show you how it was installed using only 4 short commands, all of which you will find in the YouTube comments section. On screen you can see my Ubuntu PC, on which I have displayed the four installation commands, and a show me its IP address, information command. I copy each into a terminal window. The last command shows the IP addresses assigned to this machine, which are identified by the prefix INET. Just ignore the IP address 127.0.0.1 as that is just the machine's loopback address, not its proper IP address. When finished just reboot the Linux machine so we can guarantee a clean start. To demonstrate how XRDP is used, on screen you can now see both my Windows PC and the Linux PC. If I stay logged on to my Linux PC, you will notice that when I connect it and log on, from my main Windows PC, I am faced with just a black screen, as the username is already in use on the Linux PC. If I log off, on the Linux machine and try to connect again I should succeed. However, it shows me this error, please take a note of it as I expect at some point you will get it too. What it simply means is the username and password entered was not recognized. What has probably happened, like happened to me is a simple misspell or I've left caps lock on. Anyway, when I retype the username and password more carefully it works. 
Having, for example, started a web browser, I don't log off in Ubuntu, but instead simply close the Windows remote connection window. Now, when I log on later, I can carry on from where I left off, just make sure that any setting to lock the PC or blank the screen is switched off.